Hello, this is Steve from Beatles Leatherworks, and today's project is another repair fail. I'm seeing a lot of these lately. This was attempted to put a zipper in. I mean, they didn't even bother closing off the ends here. They just left it unstitched. It's the wrong slider. It's a locking slider. You're not supposed to put a locking slider on a bag. There's no reason that should that needs a locking slide. Locking slider, which means that like for a pair of boots, for example, right? It has a little lock on the slider, so you have to pull it to release it so you can unzip it. So as you're walking, it doesn't come down by itself. A bag, you don't need to do that, okay? So anyway, we're going to basically take it apart and uh, clean it up. We're going to take care of these corners by making the bag a little bit smaller, not too much. Replace the piping on it, cleaning the cleaning the body of the bag, conditioning the rest of it. Okay, um, this is a five hundred eighty dollars job, and um, once it's done, I think it'll be much more presentable than what it is right now. You know, listen, I understand everybody needs to start somewhere when they're doing something, whether it's bag repair, plumbing, or whatever the case may be. But what you need to know that you've got to practice before you offer services to customers, especially bags like this. Go to, um, I don't know, go to a thrift store or something, buy a bag, you know, for a couple of dollars and practice on that until you get to a point where you're confident enough that, you know, your skill level can be offered to customers. Otherwise, you know, don't practice on bags like this for consumers. That's not a very good business practice. All right, so, uh, so I think um, I think it's not uh, it's not the end of you know it's not the end of the world. I think we can bring this back. I think it'll look very nice once it gets done. Okay, all right, let's get started. Oh, I got a I got a new tattoo. Well, my only tattoo. After fifty four years of of no ink on me, I decided to get some. I mean, my tenant is a is a tattoo shop, so I have to kind of, you know, I have to support my tenant, don't I? Lots been going on lately. I look a little tired in the video. Well, because I am, man. It's too much, too much, too much going on. I've been trying to get some reaction from customers about jobs. And unfortunately, it's laying some of the videos. I've got some videos. And that was my tape, my tripod. <laughs> I have my tripod in the back somewhere. I don't know where it is. So let's try that again. Anyway, I guess I gotta go find my tripod if I don't want this camera to fall down again. But it's okay. Oh, this 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 was a drawing I did like 32 years ago that I've always been kind of, you know, it's always kind of drawn me in. I don't know why. So I thought I would I would recreate it on my arm. So that's what that's what the story behind it is. All right, so basically this is just kind of disassembling time, you know. I'm gonna take things apart, clean the thread. We're gonna replace these side tabs. Now I'm just kind of debating whether I should do the handle and the, and the, the strap post too. You know, I always get myself into these predicaments, you know. I always start a, start a job one way and then end up doing more than I want to or or promise to. I just can't, you know, I don't know. I'm debating. Look at these. God. All right, I guess I'll have to make a decision when I get to it. All right, let's continue. There she goes. Now... 
There's two rows of stitches there, right? You remove the two rows of stitches, you clean them up, and then when you put the new zipper on. This one, the second row right here, was never removed. That's the original stitches, which leads me to believe that they literally just cut the old zipper right here, put the new one on top, didn't even bother cleaning this first row of stitches, and then stitched it on top. Sure enough, there's the old zipper. Unbelievable, man. I just, unbelievable. How do you, how do people sleep at night doing a crappy job like this? I just don't get it. Man, there's a lot of thunder and lightning going on. You guys hear that? It's very early. Matter of fact, it woke me up. I woke up early this morning because of that, and I'm like, I couldn't go back to sleep. I'm like, I might as well go to shop, be a little productive. It's about maybe four in the morning somewhere, something like that. Yeah, when I wake up, I just can't go back to sleep, you know? Your mind is kind of working overtime. And um, it's really hard for me to go back to sleep. So what do I do? Come to the shop. get stuff done get her done all right as you guys can see we're getting there right just start to, we just got to keep this uh taking it this apart and clean everything up and i'm going to make my decision on these pieces let's get that you all right so we got some cracks right here you guys can see those So basically I take a little bit of super glue, put some more here. This dries rather quickly. Take a little bit of super glue, put it in the cracks. Wipe the excess off. This is a spray activator which dries the glue and bring those cuts together. Kind of squeeze them together. That's not, you know, it's not 100%, of course. It's, it's not invisible once it gets done, but it looks so much better than if you don't do it. I mean, we got a lot of trucks going by. But somebody else is awake. Now your window is very short because that activator freezes the glue and keeps those cracks together. Let's do a little bit more here. You don't want to keep the glue, you want to wipe the excess off because it leaves a shiny surface. If you leave it on the surface of the fabric here. We have a little bit of high spots. We'll take the light sandpaper, sand that off, and add a little bit of color. And then once it's stitched, it'll look good. So we're getting there. Oh, look at all this mess. This is what I saved. Most of it's on the floor. All right, let's continue. So I decided to replace these uh, posts. Now we need to try to see if we can salvage the rivets so we can reuse them again. These are jiffy rivets. These when they get hammered down it's really it's really difficult to save them because once it's hammered together most of the time they'll break when you're trying to remove it. Try to salvage one side at least so we can reuse it again. I can't salvage both. All right, and that's how we salvage these rivets. We get to reuse them again. 
Now you're going to have to kind of uh, hammer them down a little bit, straighten them out as best as you can. Yeah, I'm sure there's uh, somebody selling rivets somewhere, but I like to use these original ones as much as I can. As much as I can. But it's not possible always, unfortunately. Oh, this one broke. All right. See? Smoke too soon. So the, we salvage the top one at least, right? Even if I replace the bottom one, okay? The top visually will look, you know, original rivet. Well, I might be able to salvage this. Still not too bad. Oh, did you guys hear that? Just popped. Give me a chance to grab it yet, crying out loud. Come on now. <sighs> Beautiful. Awesome. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I salvage the rivets. All right, let's continue. Well, sure enough. I told you, I get myself into these predicaments that, that, you know, I can't unsee in my head. It's just not possible. So I'm changing the leather posts, handle posts, and I'm also going to give her a new handles on there too. I mean, I might as well. I mean, what's left after the piping, the side tabs, uh, the zipper, the handle posts, the handle is the only thing that's missing that, that you know, is going to be you know, non-matching. It's going to look ugly. All right, so I might as well just do that too. So, got these done. These are reinforced underneath with a little bit of nylon. It'll act as a structural support. Got the side tabs done. That side. That was the back. Got the piping. Now, these pipings don't have anything inside, right? Sometimes some pipings will have a little plastic piece inside, or sometimes I'll use a um, um, weed whacker line that gives it a nice round shape. This one doesn't have it, and um, and I think that's about it. So now it's time to put those uh, put the side pieces on side tabs. And then we'll go ahead and put the pipe in on and we'll start reassembling. Let's continue.
There's no reason why you can't follow follow the same path as the old stitches. Even though you're not going to make it in the same holes sometimes, you're still on the same line, it would work. It's very simple. Follow the old pattern. Let's continue. All right, so we've got our pieces in. Stitch those together. Now, I made a slight miscalculation in regards to these pieces back here. These pieces need to go on first and then the second row of stitches need to go because these need to go underneath the zipper right like that, zipper tape. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to un unstitch that second row that I did and I'll be, I'll be restitching it back. Now, the bottom rivet that I salvaged, okay, I'm not 100% sure on it, so I'm not going to use it. So we're going to use a new rivet for the bottom. The top cap will be the original. I'd rather make sure that this works properly so I don't have any issues of the handle coming loose. So what we're going to do, just like what they did originally, the stitching for the hand for the base strap post gets wrapped around the rivet like that. Okay. Wrap around one more time. And then we'll put the top cap on and hammer it together. I don't know why they did it like that, but you know what? We'll just follow their lead. Okay, just like that. We'll flip that around. And we're going to put the cap on there. And I took these caps, okay, I took a little steel wool to it, triple zero steel wool, clean the, the oxidization off of it. Okay, now we're going to make sure that the wording Louis Vuitton is, is hammered on, you know, not upside down. Louis, 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 Louis Vuitton. Louis will be on the top of the rivet. And she looks good, like original. And it will cut the access thread off. And once we once we unstitch this piece back here, the the, the what you call the zipper, we'll tuck this under, and we'll we'll stitch that up. All right, let's continue. All right, so you guys can see we're getting there. Now this is proper way to be stitched. I can't believe I forgot the pocket too. As many as I've done with these and um, and I just I just forgot that the pocket was going there and also the little piece of leather tabs back there. So now we get to turn the bag inside out. Okay. Like that. And these side pieces are done. And we get to stitch everything together. Once these side pieces are stitched together, we'll put a cover around the edge, which is called a binding. Then we'll turn it up inside out, outside in. And then we'll go ahead and attach the handles and touch it up again, and we'll be done. All right, let's continue. All right, so we're getting there, slowly but surely. You know, the only thing is left is the handle here, okay? 
I'm gonna go ahead and stitch it. And then we're gonna stitch it onto the bag. And once we're done with uh, stitching it, we're gonna, we're gonna clean it up a little bit. Heat, I'm gonna heat it up a little bit to give it some shape. And then we'll be done with this project. All right, let's continue. All right, welcome back. We're done with another project. Man, this one took a little bit longer than I anticipated. Maybe I'm getting slow in my old age, I don't know. So we got the two handles, chaps or strap posts, these little tabs, piping, zipper, much, much clearer than what it was. And I just kind of cleaned it up a little bit and um, and sprayed a little bit of conditioner on it to give it a bit of sheen. I think it turned out pretty good. Now, I told you guys this was 580 in the beginning of the video. 580 didn't include the handles or these right here. Okay, I just kind of did these because I figured that would give them more of a complete look. This probably would be, I'd say, minimum $800 to do a job like this in case you guys are wondering. Um, and um, I think it turned out pretty good. I think she'll be happy. It'll be pleasant. She'll be pleasantly surprised because I didn't tell her what I was doing. All all we were supposed to do was just basically fix the fix the new zipper, put a new piping, new tabs, and we're done. So I think uh, I think they turned out pretty good. All right. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Give me a thumbs up, comment, share all you want, and we'll see you guys on the next project. All right. Take care.